All right, so a powerful Facebook page, one that actually turns people that are browsing you or have searched you up here in the Facebook search box, because that happens a lot, more than you'd think now. A powerful Facebook page that actually turns visitors into clients or customers is one that does a few things very well. Okay, so we're going to go through those things, and one of those things is to set up an auto-reply message, which I'm also going to be showing you as we go through this. So what I want to do now is let's talk about the key things that are going on on this sample page that you can do with your own page that will make it that much more effective to getting people through the door. Okay, so the first thing is, is you got to understand why someone would come to your Facebook page. Used to, back in the day, we would have people coming to a Facebook page because they already liked your business and you were after likes all the time. So it was all about getting people to like your page. But that doesn't really count as much anymore because Facebook is knocking out sort of the organic newsfeed stuff for pages. But that's actually not what Facebook pages are all about anyway. What happens is, is people will search for your website to sort of get that professional look and all the information that they want, but then they'll come to Facebook to sort of get them behind the scenes, what's really going on in the business. And it happens because they go up here to this box and they type in the name of your business or they type in like chiropractor or uh, dentist, whatever business you may have, and then you're gonna come up in a search with a bunch of people that are local to that particular person. So let's talk about the things that we want to do, and then I'm gonna show you how to set up an auto-reply message too. So the first thing is this profile picture. This profile picture is key because it allows you to do a lot of things. It allows you to put your brand forward, really start putting it in their head. And if you have a professional logo and sort of a professional color scheme, uh, then it comes across really well. The other big thing that we are doing in this picture is we're showing the picture of the main person. So this is sort of the person that they're gonna be interacting a lot with inside of the business. Now, if you're a restaurant, if you're a car dealership, whatever it may be, it's important to put pictures of the folks that are going to be dealing with the public the most. Okay, so this is the picture of our doctor here. They're actually working on a patient. And then we've actually got their name superimposed up here just to really drive the point home that this is the person that this office is named after. Okay, so then we've got the logo here. So that's the first part is a professional picture that really features a prominent figure in the business, but also the logo so that it really sticks out. Okay, the next thing is this up here. We've got a what we would call a cover image okay so this cover picture is something that we want to have our logo on once again to reinforce the brand we want to have a look inside the business or at least something if it's a stock photo that really showcases what this is all about now this particular practice is one that is focused on folks that are very active so athlete types and you can tell that from here and you can tell that from the picture here so we've got a little slogan that sort of goes with that feel, but that's the idea. This gives you a picture of what's actually happening inside the practice, who the ideal market is. Okay, so those are the couple of things. Uh, the next thing is posting. Now, one of the things that may not be fair, but it's just the way things are, is when somebody searches you out on Facebook, they're looking to see if you are current. Okay, so right here, we're seeing a lot of things happening. We're seeing a post two hours ago. We're seeing a post nine hours ago. Then we're seeing one from yesterday. We're seeing one from earlier yesterday. So what you see here is a lot of really good, really graphical content that is very much aimed at the audience for this business, but it's happening a lot. Okay, so that is a key thing is you want to see a page that's got a lot of content, but really good content, not content that is, you know, lifted off somebody else's page, original content that is really good at teaching things. So that's what we're after, content that teaches and content that's coming up often. If somebody comes to your page and the last post was two years ago or even two months ago, they're gonna to start to think that, hey, maybe this particular practice is a little behind when you actually get through the door. The last thing I'm gonna say is this about section, we want the website, we want the phone number, we want the contact info so that it's always sitting there on the side. So those are the core things that we want to have on our page. Now, the other thing is when somebody clicks to send you a message, we want to make sure that your page responds back to them automatically. Now, what happens is, is Facebook will tell people in a sense how long it takes to get a hold of them, and sometimes it won't. It's one of those things that Facebook tests. But the key thing is, is when somebody messages you, you wanna make sure that they feel like they're being heard. Even if it's an auto response, they need to know that it actually got to you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna show you on our page, let's say that you own this page, you're gonna go up to settings on your page and it's gonna take you to something that looks like this. Then we're gonna to go to messaging. And from messaging, we are going to see something that looks like this. And we're gonna go down to response assistant and we're going to 
turn that on. Make sure that prompt visitors to send messages turned on. No, 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 two. Now, if you don't want to get messages, private messages on your page, you could turn that off. Trust me, this is a big, big converter. Just have a staff member check this once a day. So you go in this, you can click change, and it would pop up a little box where you could actually change your message. So this is sort of what we have is our standard recommendation for a message. Hey, thanks for messaging us. We check this a few times a day or once a day. If you need us right away, hit us up right here and give them an actual phone number where they can call you. Okay, so that's the core of what you need to have on your page. This is, uh, like I said, one of those key elements, those messenger where they send something to your page on Messenger. You want to give them an auto response. I hope you enjoyed this, you learned something, and it helps you sort of figure out what you need to be doing with your Facebook page.